Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Brach of the Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mekar Kodash. Give double honors to our true teachers, our elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing His truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, risk any lives, week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. <coughs> Shalom to the 144,000 governing body of men. <coughs> Shalom to the one third, the hopeful elect of the men, the women, and the children. Forever, as long as our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son gives us the strength. We forever give all the praise and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekakudash. <coughs> My name is Brother Ahab. Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. It's going to be a very, it's going to be a very short one here. Lord willing, um, I'm going to name this. This is not the season for mirth. Now, yesterday, we had our um, regular sit-downs, you know, in-house sit-down lesson, you know, which our officers hold. Um, Officer Yakal and um, Officer Amawan. So, we were talking about the kingdom to come. Right, part two. We did a part one to it, so we did a part two. Okay, very edifying. If you want to, you know, be edified, please go and see it. You know, Lord willing. And um, GMS London Forecasters, all right? So, after that, you know, when we finish, we you know, talking with each other. You know, and that's the only time we get, you know, downtime. When I say downtime, I mean a little laughter. We're laughing, but we're not really laughing because how could you really laugh in a place like this? Yeah. Okay. Because there's this heaviness of the heart. Okay. Only we're laughing, you know, we, we say a couple of things and. What is there else there to talk about? There's nothing. So anyway, we I left we left late. A couple of the brothers, we left late. So going home, I stopped at the bus stop, right? And there was a, a nightclub right beside it. Okay? And every time I go there, pass pass, go to that bus stop there, that night club is kicking all the time right you're hearing screaming and laughing and you know you see the women coming out the guys coming out they come for cigarettes and they go back in again yeah they're laughing and we understand there's nothing wrong in having a glass of wine sometimes yeah there's nothing wrong you need a little bit of a downtime you need to balance it out but we're all once in the world you know we used to do that i tell you what i used to go at least Two to three times a week. Plus I used to work hard with it. You know. But that is your. That time is like. A time of just mirth. Joy. When we say mirth. You mean. You know. Being happy and jumping up and down all the time. You know. So anyway. I was there waiting. A good while for the bus. You know. And people going in and out, on in, in and out, and they're laughing and screaming, and and to me it sound it didn't sound right. It did not sound right. It just it just seemed. It didn't seem positive, right? Although they they're laughing and joking around, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right, and it doesn't it doesn't feel right. It doesn't sound right, okay. And then lo and behold, Elder Pastor Ha did a lesson. About um, I get it out. 
The Lord is not dealing with you, prince of power. And then our beloved elder, Apostle Gabar, he did a lamb back from it. We are not brought here to have a good time. Now remember, there's a time and a season for everything. But this is not the season for mirth. Because we're in the last times now. We're in the end. There's so much things happening. Right? So, El Apostle Gabal, we are not brought here to have a good time. We're here to suffer. He says, the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. Remember, there's a law saying, if you, if you suffer with me, you will also reign with me. So we have to suffer. And it don't feel pleasant. It doesn't feel pleasant. And the law said, you know, but for a short moment. Right? Pain don't feel good, you know. If it's for, listen, pain don't feel good. Period. And this is this, and, and long suffering, patience is long suffering. All right? So going back to our beloved elder, Pastor Daha, he was saying, um, oh, this is the point I'm going to make. He was saying about going into nightclubs. And that's all spiritual because I was there watching, I mean, watching the people go in and out the night before. He did his lesson today. Then this woman, and oh, this is what Elder Pastor Haas said. He says that if you do a job like that, you might as well change it. Don't get into that kind of environment. Because those kind of things, you know what it brings, yeah? That kind of, when you're in a nightclub, people are high on, you know what I mean, on that kind of stuff, on drugs. Okay. And all kinds of things going on in that in that place. It's nothing fruitful. Alright? And I tell you what, even back in the days when I used to go out, going out to parties and clubbing, I never went home feeling satisfied. But then again, you still want to go again. You never feel satisfied. You want more and more and more. There's something not it's nothing edifying, you know. Yeah, the music is nice. And, you know, even these days now, is, I, I suppose, even worse now, right? And even back in my time, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. You had something to do, all right? Mainly, it was the girls that we used to go out for, the music, and we had our drinks, yeah? But nowadays, it's gotten worse and worse. So, so whilst I was waiting for the bus, right? And as Elder Pastor Ha said, you know, just, you know, if you're in that kind of um that kind of work line of work change that job okay all right so i was there standing there and this woman came out and there's a thing in there we call uber uber taxi right it's a taxi service obviously you call them up they come and pick you up right but look what look what we have to do these days right because i've seen it a lot now the the woman came out at the nightclub and, the, and there's a the taxi waiting for her. So before she jumped in, you know what she did? She took her phone out and took a picture of the license plate. All right? I know they do it for security. You see, going back to what Elder Pastor Ha said again. All right? You see that kind of confusion it brings? All right? That's why he said to change, change career. Right? Or look into something else um, than doing that. Right? Okay? Because it's not a time she might have been working there or she was, you know, going home now, she's ready to go home now. But the point is, this is not the time for jumping up and down for joy because we're in the last days now. Bad times, evil times are coming. And we know it's coming because we talk about it. Okay? We talk about the evils that is coming upon this earth. And through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahshai, we hope and pray that we are the elect. Because you know who's going to be covered? The elect are going to be covered. And it even says that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So even that alone is daunting. All right? Even that alone. Yeah, so she took the picture, jumped in the, in the, in the cab, in the taxi, and she went off. And that's not the first time I've seen that. I've seen it many times. So she's by herself. All right? So, and um, and the other thing again, carnival. 
as um El Pasigaba was talking about um Bacchanal, right? Back in the time I used to go a lot of carnival parties and you know things like that. And it's all to do with witchcraft, it's all to do with um um adultery. This it's not right, yeah. But what the point is, this is not the time for jumping up and down for joy. All right? That's the point. So yeah, Elder Pastor Har did his lesson. The Lord is not dealing with the Prince of Power. And Elder Pastor Gabar, we are not brought here to have a good time. Okay? Sometimes we sit and have a glass of wine with, with, with the brothers or whatever. Right? Have something to eat. We have a little laugh. And that is it. And that's it. But we know at the back of our minds, we're still in hell. All right? Okay? This is hell here. It's a condition. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, and a, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a, ti a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh. There's a time for everything, right? A time to mourn, and a time to dance. But this is not the time to dance. Okay? We've danced before, but this is not the time for dancing. We've laughed before, but this is not the time for laughing. Okay? But right now we're in mourning. Okay? And the real dance is going to happen when the Lord willing we get into the chariots. That is the real dancing. Yeah? In the kingdom. It's going to be a, every day you'll be dancing. A time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from bracing, a time to get rid, a time to get and a time to lose because we're going to lose a lot of things. The Lord has provided us. This is why we have to be content to what we have and be prepared to lose it. A time to keep and a time to, to, to cast away, a time to rent and a time to, to sue, to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, right? Um, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, okay? You could read further down, but this is the time of war now. And in order to get into the kingdom of heaven, there has to be war before the peace. There has to be war before the, the calm. Yes? Okay? There has to be bad before the good. We are entering into perilous times. A time like never before. Okay? That's going to be war. But we have to go through the war, the suffering, the pain. And brothers are sick. Brothers are unhappy. You know, brothers are depressed. Brothers are frustrated. Right? We could keep on talking over and over about it. Brothers are going through hell. We hate to be here. We hate to be, you know, it's to, it's to breathe this air that other these people are breathing. Everywhere you go is just nothing but mirth. Yeah? So that's it, you know? A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. You see? As it says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. And this is not the time for dancing. So it's so spiritual how Elder Pastor Ha and Elder Pastor Gabar did that lesson. And it was just the night before, I was right beside a nightclub. 
Okay? And there's nothing to it now. Okay? Second Ezra 2 verse 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. That they may be shortened. We pray in every day that the Lord's come back quickly to put down this kingdom. To put Esau into where he belongs. Where he belongs. Right? Not above us, but beneath us. A kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. That kingdom is when you're going to have all the dancing. All the mirth. And it's going to be all in happiness and in righteousness. No more pain. No more suffering. Yeah? Because like I said before, when I used to go out during the week time, I know I've got work the next day. So when you go home, you start to feel down now. Oh, I've got work tomorrow. Yeah? What is the happiness in that? And the way we have to labor is not is not done correctly. The way we are paid, how we are treated un, unequally, okay? At workplaces, favoritism, okay? Some people at work get away with things, whereas you don't get away with it. And it's a spiritual thing because brothers at work now, they, they're just going through hell. With the managers or the supervisors. Yeah? Especially if you have a woman boss telling you what to do. All that bullshit. This is the condition of the battle. Right? The kingdom is already prepared for you. Imagine it's ready. Watch. It says watch. And this is what we're watching for the prophecies to be fulfilled. We pray for these. Um, what? Go and ye and shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. We know hell is coming. We know. But we just have to have the trust in the Lord in Yahweh. Basham, Yahushai, Basham, that, the, that we're going to be delivered out of it. Pray for a few days. Right? James 5, verse 16. Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another. This is what we must do. Continue to pray. I believe in this. To pray for one another at all times. Through happy times, you pray for one another. Through sad times, you pray for one another. You continue to pray for one another. Okay? Because the Lord is hearing our prayers. That ye may be healed. We want that. This is why we need Yahweh Shai, our real, our Redeemer, our Savior. Right? He's our real physician. We want to be fully healed. That's what the scriptures say now. When you seek, when you seek love, seek him ten times more. Because we are all once in the world. And we hope and pray the Lord that keeps the Holy Spirit on us. Because we are talking to brothers again. It's like it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power. We have not made it yet until the Lord says, yes, well done my humble servant. That's when you know you've made it. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of our living power. That's why we have to keep on praying for one another. Brothers are down. Brothers are feeling pain. Brothers are suffering. Yeah? Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer, effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much, availeth much.
right? Let me have a look at that word, availeth. Availeth. Now, where am I? What did I just read? Lost it now. Apologize for that. Uh, James James five sixteen. Let's go into the blue letter. James five verse fifteen. Sixteen actually, right? Availeth. Availeth much. Can, could, be uh, able, avail, prevail, be whole. Can do. This is to be strong. That's the word. Be whole. Avail. Imagine you, 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 you pray to a heavenly father and everything is being heard. All of your prayers are being heard. Be strong. To be strong in body. To be robust. To be sound health, to have power, to have power as shown by extraordinary deeds, extraordinary deeds, right? To exert, wield power, to have strength to overcome. That's powerful. To have strength to overcome. This is why we need to pray to our Heavenly Father. It's only through Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rekar Kudash, things, all things are possible to overcome. And the Lord says, you know, I'm paraphrasing, I overcame the world. The Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashak overcame. Okay? To be a force, a veil, to be what? Serviceable. To be able, can. The word can. Yes, I can do it. I can do it through who? The spirit and the power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekakudash. Yes, I can do it. All things can be done through Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekakudash. Right? One more. Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning. This is what we're doing. We're mourning right now. It's no joke thing. You might get, a brother might say something very funny. You crack up. You crack, you, you burst out laughing. Really? But imagine burst out laughing and it just doesn't stop. That, that's what it's going to be like in the kingdom. You, you're forever happy. So can you imagine on this side when sometimes brothers say things and it's funny and we laugh. But just for a couple of seconds, it goes. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. You know, all these celebrations and, you know, these, these, these wicked that's how we, we, we follow the high holy days to the best of our ability. Okay? And the people of the world follow the, the hollow days. It's hollow, it's empty. There's nothing fruitful in it. A house of feasting for that the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You, re you really see a brother smile. You really see a brother smile. Okay? The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. 
So when you see, that's why Elder Pastor Taha said, you know, stop going to these places. If you any even Elder Pastor Taha said is even going to pass it is it goes far as saying that if you work in a in that kind of environment, don't you know, you know, try find another job. Yeah, because this is not the time. If you work in that environment, and and if you if if you go in, stop it. Okay. And like I said, it's not no, nothing wrong. Meet up with brothers sometimes, having a little drink sometimes, or go somewhere for a drink. There's nothing wrong. But that same, that kind of energy, that kind of of music and and that negative energy and and all kinds of spirits in these places. All right. So again, you know. We are not here for a good time. You know, we're not here for a good time. This is not the time. This is not the season for mirth. All right? Because it says here, right? The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. Okay? Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of the counters, the heart is made better. So through our sadness and our pain and sufferings, it's going to make us stronger. It's, it's going to make us stronger. And we need that for what is to come. Open prayer is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekakudash. And double honors to our apostles of, of, of Great Millstone. All right? That taught us this truth and this the the, the um the hidden mysteries, right of the scriptures, right which is a gift. Shalom.